Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back again here on the bridge. And today, yes, we got another thing to go over from the Star Trek Online X feed. So on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor and hit that like button. But also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge where we're always on the lookout for like-minded captains where we can share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now, with that said, here we go. Captains, we just released a video a couple of hours ago going over the initial news drops here that was on the Star Trek X feed. Of course, as of this video, if you haven't gotten your free three duty officer packs, please do so as you get three chances to possibly win a promo ship. But also going over the last generation lockbox now we knew of this but we wanted to dedicate this particular blog to this video and that's why we did the whole intro because one of the things that we've been waiting for is this battle of wolf 359 information and we got it so we'll go over the blog drop the two ecs and then at the end of course give our conclusion so here it is. Ambassador Kale sat down with at Trek Movie to show off the Battle of Wolf 359 and the brand new Wolf 459 Memorial Station. So we're going to actually go into the Stowbridge and actually go over what we noticed a couple nights ago. And we now know why. We now know why. So when you click on this, it I, I love this picture, by the way. But when you click on that, that brings you here to the actual track movie site. And there you go, it says, and it has it there, let's close these, exclusive first look at Battle Wolf of 359, a new task force operation in Star Trek Online. Quite, quite cool. So there you go, I have a picture of the New Orleans. Of course, this is what we're gonna use for the actual thumbnail, because why not the New Orleans, the New Orleans was one of the ships there in Wolf 359. So, on Tuesday, the 31st season of the massive multiplayer game Star Trek Online launches the new Both Worlds season features a storyline that brings back the Star Trek Deep Space Nine's Nicole DeBoer. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, let me know in the comments below. Voicing Captain Ezri Dax, leading the fight against the Mirror Board. One of the new features is a recreation of the biggest conflicts in Star Trek history, the Battle of Wolf 359. Trek movie got an early exclusive early preview of this new simulation in the Star Trek or in Star Trek Online. I'm excited. I can't even barely read. We also have an exclusive first look at the new Wolf 359 Memorial Station. I love how it's like 359 here. I'm not sure if that's a mistake where they say 459. Probably a mistake, but sure, why not? We read it. Let's close that. So join the Battle of Wolf 359. Both worlds includes the Battle Re Wolf 359 as the latest task force operation for Star Trek Online. These task force operations have been a part or have been a part of the game since its launch and are the main way players can work together on a single mission. Usually, each new season includes a new TFO, which is built into the overall story. Into the overall story. For both worlds, the Battle Wolf 359 is a simulation player's do to prepare for the fight with the mirror Borg by learning how to fight in the Federation's first big face-off with the Borg. Stowe community manager Mike Batum took a Trek movie through a preview of the battle. He explained how it fits in the new season story. There you go. We're currently in conflict with the Borg from the mirror universe. While they're running around rampaging and blowing everything up, we are replaying the Battle of Wolf 359 in order to learn better tactics of to battle the Borg. And here we have another shot there. I believe that is a Cheyenne and another ship down there. Is that an annex? It looks like an annex, but sure, if I'm not mistaken. Now in this shot, that board cube looks a lot smaller compared to the first sort of shot that we got there. But sure, whatever, we're gonna, again, we're gonna have to wait to see. I, I really do hope it is like big and menacing. You know, I almost wanted the same size as the crystalline entity. Just, just saying it's not that size compared to ships but just to make it sort of more imposing i'd, I, I'd be up for it we'll, we'll continue on here the battle of wolf 359 comes from the classic star trek the next generation episode the best of both worlds part two 
which featured Captain Jean-Luc Picard being assimilated by the Borg and leading an attack on the Federation as Locutus. Starfleet assembled a fleet to take on Locutus and a massive cube at the Wolf 359 star system. The USS Enterprise-D was still repairing damage from the previous encounter with the cube and it was not present at the battle, later engaging and defeating the Borg in the Sol system. In the TNG episode, some elements of the battle were shown, but much of the battle of Wolf 359 was told through communications from the fleet to the Enterprise during that episode. But now you can be a part of it in Star Trek Online. We have been waiting for this battle ever since the simulations come to Star Trek Online, and we hope there's more to come. Personally, there is, of course, this one. I want First Contact's battle in here, and also the Sacrifice of Angels, and a bunch of the battles there in DS9. I think that'd be really cool. Of course, you cannot actually defeat the Borg Cube as part of the simulation, which we knew because we, we, we lost that one. We totally knew we were going to lose that one. But Batum explained how the simulation plays a part in the overall story. So just like in our other historical simulation, the Battle of the Binary Stars, and I love how we were bang on when just on how this was kind of go. Events are set in motion. The point of this holodeck program is to see what we can learn from those events, even though we know Starfleet lost. We're trying to figure out what we can learn from the situation and how best we can use those tactics against the mirror board, storyline-wise. Gameplay-wise, it's a fun opportunity for players to get to reenact one of the most famous battles in the start of Star Trek. Again, another shot there, the Cheyenne. And I, I can't make up that ship there, but it's there. It's there. And again, that cube looks pretty small. And I think is that a, another Reliant fight down there? We're trying to like get every peek that we can of this. But now the one thing, the space map, again, when we saw this on screen, there was, it was just black. So I'm hoping that we have a little color there just to make the background look a little better. But I, I thought we were going to maybe see some floating damage ships. I'd still like to see that in all honesty. The simulation requires five players. Like all TFOs, it, you know what? I, I'd love if this had a version of 10 players. Just like the crystalline entity. It would make so much sense. If I'm not mistaken, there were like 30 plus ships there in the Wolf 359. Correct me if I'm wrong. Captain's in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure there's more. It'd be nice if there was a five-man version and a 10-man version. I don't know. Uh, it's, it'd be nice. We don't have a lot of those 10-man versions uh, TFOs in Star Trek Online currently as of this video. We of course have Crystalline Entity, the PvP type ones, but they're not really that much fun. Well, they are, but I'd like to see one really that there's just more than five captains, you know? Like all TFOs, it is balanced, so you really need a group working together. Oof. I'd love to see, and I mentioned this already in videos previously, that these TFOs or this TFO already comes with the advanced and elite versions, but we're going to have to wait and see. You can be automatically matched by the system or organize your own group, which Captain, you know, we will be doing this live on the bridge. So look out for that. Many players in Sto are part of fleets and TFOs are a great way to play together, coordinating over voice chat, regardless of your character's faction, Federation Klingon Romulan. You can take part in the Wolf 359 simulation. Each player captain has their own ship, which you use in the TFO with all of its capabilities, but as part of the holodeck simulation, your ship will appear to be one of the Starfleet ships that took part in the historical battle. It would be nice if in the future, even if they retroactively fix this one too, you'd be able to pick which ship you'd want to fly. Will you see five Excelsiors, five ambassadors? Probably. Yeah, sure, why not? But I would just like that to happen. But if your ship is already an era appropriate ship, why not just keep it that way? If you're in the Cheyenne, if you're in the New Orleans, if you're in the Ambassador, Excelsior, and so on and so forth. The Wolf 359 simulation starts and ends with cutscenes that use elements from Star Trek The Next Generation, including Patrick Stewart's voice as Lacutus. Yes! It's not him, but it's him. Do you know what I mean, Captains? It's him, but it's not him. But he's in the game finally, yes! Look his voice, at least, a clip, sure. Well, actually, this is not the first time, I guess, we had his voice clip there in the episode the start, that where we shot all the hero ships, but 
Anyways, a little excited. From Best of Both Worlds, Paramount provides Cryptic with the original audio tracks from Star Trek series and films to use in the game, and this simulation makes good use of them. You can also hear Admiral Hansen. And there's an additional new dialogue from Nicole Nabor as Captain Dax before and after you start your simulation. You will also hear the voices of Lacutus and Hansen throughout the battle, adding to the immersion. Yes, that's the most important here word immersion my immersion of the simulation it would be i said this before it would have been nice if we also got some voice clips from cisco himself and also shaw's rec sort of voice clips that would have been could you imagine captains if they threw that curveball and and actually had shaw's voice in here that would be so good that would be so good because they made it so that he was or well, was a part of wolf 359 on one of the ships there but and you have like PTSD for that. P P PTSD, yeah. Post traumatic, yeah. Stress syndrome or something, right? Sure, whatever. Sorry. Uh, here's another shot. New Orleans there. And that I believe is the Cheyenne. Any other ship there? Something up there. Looks like. Can't make it out, but here we go. The battle itself can take 20 to 30 minutes. Can take 20 to 30 minutes. So this is going to be phased out. And we knew that, but to 20 or 30 minutes, eesh. we're going to have to time this and, and see how that goes, Cass. And is divided into multiple stages with different tasks during each. As the battle goes on, things get more and more hectic, especially after some of the Starfleet ships get assimilated. So one of the things that I mentioned is I don't want to see another Borg ship there. I don't because we only fought one. But how do they change it well here we go how do they keep it interesting for us well here we go starfleet ships get assimilated and we have to fight them sure it makes sense i, I can see i can see that actually because why not right by the time we the enterprise d actually or not we but the enterprise d actually got th two wolf 359 there's just a bunch of floating ships so who's to say that those ships weren't the assimilated or some of those ships weren't assimilated ships that got destroyed too so just saying during one stage, players are tasked with fighting these assimilated ships as well as rescuing crew in escape pods from destroyed ships while also destroying assimilation pods launched by the Borg, which is the new element introduced by the game. A nice thing about the Battle of Wolf 359 is we don't really see it on camera, so we have a little bit of leeway. So I'm I, sure. I, I get it. I'm... I'm still curious to see how it implements it, but soon, soon. Of course, explains Fadim. It's during this chaotic moment you truly get a sense of the desperation of the battle. You, and you can see how the Stowe simulation encourages cooperation, as noted by Fadim. That's the thing about a TFO. It's meant to be crazy thing you do with multiple people. The final stage has players taking on the cube again, reminding you are trying to buy the USS Enterprise time as they are on their way. You can hear Hansen trying to surrender as Lacutus coldly replies, discussion is relevant, there are no terms. Once you do enough damage to the cube, warps away to Earth, leaving the aftermath of the battle and another cutscene with Captain Ezri Dax assessing your performance. It is now you are given your rewards for taking part in the TFO, which includes important progress for the season's big events, and getting you closer to winning the coveted t new tier 6 ship for the season. You also get marks you can use as part of the in-game's reputation helping. You earn new rewards such as new Captain Trace weapons and uniform. Another shot there of the New Orleans there. Star Trek Online is a free-to-play with in-game purchase options using the in-game currency then, but there are no required purchases to take part in the World 3 Battle of the World 359 or any task force operation. There is a requirement to achieve level 10, which would require you going through the tutorial and some early missions, or around 3 hours of gameplay. This isn't an issue for most players as the vast majority have already hit the level 65 cap. The Battle of Wolf 359 is part of both worlds. It shows how after 14 years Star Trek Online is still adding new features that tie into the 25th century storyline they are building while also using elements of Star Trek lore. The goal isn't to blow up the cube, which I'm okay with, but just to survive and rescue as many members of Starfleet as you can while buying 
acting Captain Riker. Love that. I hope we hear his voice and the USS Enterprise enough time for their daring plan. The preview was a lot of fun and reminds of how, you how intimidating the Borg were back in those early days. Participating with other players in this live simulation only adds to the themes of Star Trek of cooperation. Cheyenne there. So, here we go. Well, okay, so they did make a mistake here in the original blog here. That 459, but... So, Wolf 359 Memorial Station. Both worlds will also introduce a new location for the game, the Wolf 359 Memorial Station, located in the Vulcan sector of the Beta Quadrant. It's hard to kind of see the picture here, but can we click on that a little bit? Oh, we can. Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can click on the other pictures here. Let's see if we see any of the ships. I should have done that earlier. Sorry. My bad, Caps. That, oh, no, it's the New Orleans there. New Orleans, New Orleans. I think that's a Reliance. I think. And New Orleans there, Cheyenne. New Orleans, Cheyenne again. Probably just the same two ships with those shots. And that's probably a Centaur, possibly. So, there you go. There's that. But the, here you go, the Memorial Station. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to get this. And look at that. So let's, let's, let's read on this and we'll look at the pictures after. The station is home to a Starfleet memorial dedicated to those who lost their lives during the Battle of Wolf 359 with the Borg in 2357. Look at that. That is pretty cool how it's just kind of outlining it kind of gets and it spirals outwards. Kind of almost what they want to do like the Anton Prime type museum but just a little different just kind of stoified. The memorial is a brand new design created for Star Trek Online, built by senior environment artist Nick Dugan. Awesome! It includes, or aka Tumor Boy, his Twitch name. It includes damaged wrecks from the ships that participated in the Battle of Wolf 359. The new station replaced the previous Battle of Wolf 359 social zone. So, I bring that up to say this. I will, we'll, we'll finish this off here quickly. Both worlds launches on January 23rd, so tomorrow as of this video for PC and will launch on PlayStation Xbox consoles on March 12th to download and play Star Trek Online today for free visits, play Star Trek Online. Now, before we look at these pictures, we're going to go quickly in-game here. So we're going to turn this off and put go onto the store bridge quickly here. Because again, I noticed this before, and there's a bunch of things happening here. I'm, either I'm being cooked or something's happening here. Yes, I'm being cooked by some people. Oh, look at that. There are people here. There is a bunch of our good friends here. We have Ronnie, Zav. We also have Andrew. I believe that is Stu1701. Sphinx. And I believe I saw the Lucifer. Just kind of cooking my ship here. Cause so. But anyways, other than the fact that we have all this here going on, before this map was actually filled with a bunch of the debris of different ships. Now it was empty, but only have like Borg bits here. So it's kind of interesting that they did that, but this is all gonna be replaced. Oh gosh, why? You guys, captains are watching this video as you as they upload this and you're doing this trolling, let me know in the comments below. And if you do, I don't, I, why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? I kind of knew I was going to be found here, but I didn't think here. I'm getting roasted. My hull is getting roasted, but that's pretty funny, though, how they found me. Anyways, not that I'm that hard to find. And of course, while they found me, they'll just troll me. So anyways, that being said, this is all going to be replaced. And this was OK, but now we're going to have that station. So we're going to look at that again. Now we'll go back out. Oh, gosh, why CJ? Why? <laughs> Good thing that this is not going to be part of the whole video. We're going to close that and then go back here to the article here and look at the rest of the pictures there. Oh my God. So that explains it. Why there was a replacement of the bits there, not to be the ships anymore, but just like board bits as a placeholder for them to put this on here. So let's have a look here. And you see some of the ships, it's kind of hard to kind of see there. But when you look at this pic, you see an ambassador. Reliant ship, 
and it's kind of hard to see but again we'll have, we'll have a close look we might just do a separate video of us just flying around because why not and as you can see the look at that <laughs> the ambassador three nacelle ship that is absolutely hilarious and then of course there's another shot there and then you got the excelsior there so again i wanted to dedicate a separate video for this initial blog here on the preview of wolf 359 because i thought it was pretty cool that they did this that there was a little bit of a teaser of what we'll see so i'm looking forward to this tfo captains and i hope i get a chance to play this with you guys definitely for the duration of the event we're going to be including this in our nightly pew pews when we're on the bridge either on here on youtube and or on twitch you're more than welcome to join us and i don't mind running this because anything against the board is always fun and it looks like we'll also be fighting assimilated federation ships and yeah i'm still excited i'm still looking forward to it and i hope that this does really live up to the hype and if not you know again i'm glad that it's in star trek online and for any casual gamer for them to enjoy this as much as we do so or hopefully we do so captains that is the video we, again we just wanted to dedicate this strictly for the world 359 discussion because as you can tell we are excited we can barely speak so do us a huge favor hit that like button comment below let us know if you were there trolling me i mean if you are looking forward to this <laughs> wolf 359 table as much as i am and of course subscribe here to user bridge and i've also as well, Captains, if you want to support us in what we do here on the YouTube and I'll consider joining and becoming a member here on the YouTube bridge where we will actually, every time we see you on stream, we'll do this. Admiral, if you will come with me. Call you an Admiral, of course, coming on to the bridge. And of course, Captains, as of this video, it'll be a day before the actual Both Worlds. So we will see you at Both Worlds and we'll leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.